All right, deep sky objects are fascinating, and observations made with your own equipment can be very rewarding. Besides a telescope with a decent aperture size, having an eyepiece that lets in as much light as possible is very important. So, in today's video, I'm going to take a deeper look at this eyepiece here, which also happens to be my favorite eyepiece when it comes to observing deep sky objects. So, let's get right to it. Hi, I'm Bogdan Damian, and if you're new to my channel, I like to talk about astronomy equipment. I like to review eyepieces, telescopes, and telescope accessories in order to give you a better overview and maybe help you with your purchase decision. So if you're looking for this type of information, then make sure to subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. So there are two types of observations of the night sky you can make. On one hand, you have planetary observations. Here you carefully study the planets of our solar system. Typically this would be Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, because these are bright in the night sky and fairly easy to observe. On the other hand, you have deep sky objects. And here you take a look at galaxies, nebulae, uh, star clusters, and so on. Depending on which type of observations you want to make, you will need a dedicated equipment um, for it, especially the eyepieces you are going to use. For planetary observations, you typically need eyepieces with a shorter focal length, for example, 3 to 11 millimeters. This will allow for a higher magnification. The apparent field of view isn't that important here, since planets are comparatively small and bright objects. Deep sky objects usually appear bigger in the night sky, but much dimmer than the planets. Therefore, you will need eyepieces with longer focal lengths, 11 to 40 mm, for example, that yield a lower magnification, but that let in much more light. This way, you will be able to see more details, provided the scene conditions allow it, of course. One manufacturer that constantly excels in eyepiece design is Teleview. This US-based company was founded by Al Nagler in the late 70s and has been since producing some of the best astronomy equipment on the market. Such is the company's eyepiece lineup, Panoptic. Designed as a better alternative for observing deep sky objects than the existing plosets, the Panoptic eyepieces were first introduced in 1992. Over the following 11 years, Teleview extended the lineup to offer eyepieces with focal lengths starting from 19 mm all the way up to 41 mm. They offer good build quality, class leading optics, and an overall great viewing experience. The pan optic that I have with me today, the 24 mm, is arguably the most popular eyepiece of this lineup. Even though it comes with a barrel size of one and a quarter inch, the pan optic still manages to offer a focal length of 24 mm. This alone makes it one of the brightest eyepieces you can get whilst retaining the one and a quarter inch size, which is great. This also guarantees a high compatibility with existing telescope accessories you might own, such as a barrel lens or a bino viewer. Big Bino Viewers, for example, with wide prisms such as the Bino View from Teleview or the Max Bright 2 from Bader, will heavily benefit from the generous field stop of 27 mm. Due to the compact size and low weight, the 24 mm panoptic will fit any type of telescopes, no matter how small, provided the telescope has a 1.25 inch IP socket. With a decent apparent field of view of 6 to 8 degrees, this eyepiece will offer you a wide window into the night sky. Here I have to mention that if you wear glasses, then you might not be able to fully benefit from this wide field of view. This is due to the average eye relief of 15 mm. It's not bad by any means, but I always end up taking off my glasses when I use this eyepiece so I can get a bit closer to the lens. So, on paper, the 24mm panoptic from Teleview looks very good. But how is the actual viewing experience? Well, I can tell you that it's fantastic. 
it's the brightest eyepiece that I had the pleasure to observe with. The lenses and the coating are as good as they get. The views are sharp right up to the edge of the field of view and contrast rich. When I'm looking at the Orion Nebula, for example, I'm not only able to see a lot of detail, but also some hints of green and blue colors when using this eyepiece in combination with my 12 inch um, Dobsonian telescope. When looking through this eyepiece, there aren't any color aberrations that I can notice and any comma that I'm seeing comes from the telescope's primary mirror and not the eyepiece itself. By comparison, the 32mm Swan eyepiece from Omegon has a much longer focal length and bigger lenses, but the views with a panoptic are still brighter and have more contrast. Maybe not by much, but enough to make me almost always choose the panoptic over the Swan. I mentioned the compatibility with other telescope accessories earlier, such as Bellow lenses. Well, I've been using this eyepiece in combination with a 2x Bellow from Teleview and I haven't had any problems whatsoever. In terms of image clarity, there isn't a noticeable difference compared to the views without a Berlo lens. The resulting 12mm focal length was ideal for observing some smaller DSOs like the Christmas tree cluster or M47. In order to give you guys a better understanding of what different objects in the night sky actually look like when viewed through this eyepiece, I've set up some views using Stellarium. I'll leave a link to Stellarium and where you can download it in the description below. Also, please keep in mind that these are simulated views and not actual views of the night sky. Deep sky objects will always look much dimmer to your eye and typically without color. This is only to give you an idea of what the field of view will look like. I brought up the 32mm Swan eyepiece from Omegon, here is a comparison chart between it and today's pen optic. The build quality is a bit better on the Omegon. This is because of the more modern design of the Swan. An adjustable eye guard with a twist-in system would be great on the pen optic. Also, purely in terms of handling and using the eyepiece, I prefer the Swan to the pen optic. This is due to the large top lens with a wide diameter of 35 mm and the generous eye relief of 25 mm. Looking through the Swan is very comfortable. However, in every other category, the panoptic comes ahead. It has a more compact size, it is more lightweight than the Swan. It also offers sharper, brighter views with more contrast. It simply enables you to see more of the night sky and this is what really counts. And this brings me to the conclusion. The 24mm pan optic from Teleview is a great eyepiece for observing deep sky objects. It has excellent optics and offers a great compatibility with telescopes and different types of accessories, making it my favorite eyepiece for deep sky objects. Get one and you won't regret it. All right, that's been it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and also subscribe to my channel. If you have questions or feedback, please leave a comment and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching and catch you guys next time.